Hey, what's up everybody? Arboots here, and today I'm playing Insurgency. A friend gifted me this game about a month ago, and I'll tell you, I've put countless hours into this. I've put, I think I'm going about on my seventh hour, so clearly I have a lot of experience playing this, and I thought, instead of being selfish, why not make a video to help other people play this game correctly? Because, I mean, I know it's a really popular game, and I... I want people to at least feel like they're good. Now, you're probably not going to be as good as I am, but uh, but I can help. Um, so first off, uh, I don't really know what my favorite game mode is because with these vague descriptions, um, most of them sound pretty much the same. There's uh, Infiltrate, which is apparently Capture the Flag. I guess Capture the Flag is copyrighted, so they had to change the name. Um, and there's uh, one where there's like Protect the President. I don't remember which one that one's called. But either way, they're pretty much, they pretty much have uh, the same general uh, uh, point to it, where you have to capture objectives and either hold it or whatever. So I've gone through and disabled all the night maps because all the night maps absolutely suck and uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna find a server. Um, don't go to the server browser. I, I don't really waste my time looking through all those because like I said, uh, I don't really know what my favorite game mode is so I just kinda select whatever, whatever I have the option to do. So I guess this game mode is push and if I remember correctly well, I guess depending on what team I'm on, I might have to capture objectives, then hold out for a while, and uh, hopefully our team is good enough and uh, we'll advance. Um, so I don't really know what the difference between these classes are. I know riflemen, or recon at least, uh, that's uh, uh, like a sniper, but... Um, sniper is probably a sniper as well. Support is LMG. Um, I, I usually go with Rifleman um, because uh, I just kind of go with whatever I can do. So what what I do when I first get in the game, I choose the cheapest gun and uh, usually put on a foregrip and uh, I usually uh, remove remove the chest rig because uh, I'm generally never alive long enough to actually run out of ammo so I could probably be fine with one maybe two magazines um, and then for the armor just go straight to the heavy armor because light armor doesn't do too much and the heavy armor increases the amount of bullets you can take all the way from one bullet to maybe three pistol bullets or two assault rifle bullets um, so that that's very useful. Uh, I generally like to have frag grenades on, um, but I would like more attachments for my assault rifle. So I'm going to remove that for now. I'm going to put on keep on the foregrip, uh, red dot sight, and I guess I still have enough for a heavy barrel. And um, you know what? Why not put on tracer rounds? I never really noticed them, but they're free, so I'll just put them on for no reason. Oh, also, um, I guess this class didn't have a handgun on by default. Uh, I always remove the handgun because unless unless you have a sniper, there's really no use to actually be using a handgun because, uh, well, I guess I've never really used a handgun, so I don't know if they're good or bad, but uh, this is basically what uh, I set up. I have no idea which... Assault Rifle is the best because there are literally no stats about them, so that's the reason why I go with the cheapest gun, but uh, enough setting up with my class. Oh, let's just get in the game. I guess I am a attacking, right? The game's almost over, so with all that time I've spent in the Create a Class menu, I've surely helped my team more than enough. Um, let's see, who's alive? Uh, I don't think too, well, it's not too bad. Uh, and I gotta tell you, I haven't played many games where there's a lean feature, but leaning is probably the single 
the single most important thing in a first-person shooter game, or really any kind of first-person game, even if they're, it's not a shooter, being able to lean is incredibly crucial. You're right so there, I, really I think I just got killed by a grenade. I'm not entirely sure because there are no there are no death messages. Here we go. Um, okay, well I guess we lost. Uh, I will I will see you in the next game. You killed me from behind. Can I can I mute people? Reloading. Oh, right. Um. Okay, this is the next round. So luckily, um. Luckily. It's uh, the same game, so I have more, more uh, supply points. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the frag grenade and get on with my life. So seeing as how the objectives are red, I'm pretty sure we're attacking. So we have to capture the objectives, and uh, hopefully um, we'll be. Oh. Um, also, there's no hit markers in the game, and once again, no death messages of any kind, so I never really know if I kill people. I kind of just shoot at their dead body for Keep a while it. until I find out that they're not moving. It works out most of the time. Um, I'm just now finding out that this is a three-round burst weapon. I'm not a huge fan of these, but it'll have to do. Um, unless I want to switch to semi-auto, but I think that would not be helping my situation. I really enjoy the fact that there are no crosshairs on the screen. I think that really, uh, that really does a good job for the game with, uh, making you feel immersed in all the action. Um, because generally I, I ignore the the majority of the HUD, so it's almost as if that's not there anyways, and just removing the crosshair, just uh, remove something in the center of the screen that I cannot help but to focus on, so thank you for doing that, creators of the game. I don't know who made you, but uh, thank you. Um... So I should probably go out there and help my team. Um, I don't think I've been doing too much to assist them. So uh, let's let's just go out there. Okay, well, I didn't see that guy. He must have been laying down. Um, yep, he was laying down. So I found out that if you lay down, you might as well just be invisible. Um, if you've played uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, I think it is, there's that camo where you can turn on and it turns you pretty much completely invisible. Uh, they might as well just put that in this game. Or, uh, because people can just lay down and you will never be able to find them. So that being said, uh, I don't like to lay down. Um, I feel like it makes me too overpowered, so I, I tend to stay with standing and crouching. Um, because I don't want to I don't want to make people feel bad about killing them too many times. So just looking out for the others. Not only do I want to help my team, but I also don't want to hurt the team the other team so much that they end up leaving the game. Because then there's no game to play. Alright, so uh, we're out of reinforcement waves, so this game is pretty much over. Um, I, I'll be completely honest, I don't have too much confidence in the rest of my team. So I'll probably see you in the next game or the next round. I don't really know how many rounds we have had. Oh, look at that, I have had one whole kill. <laughs> Make sure you pray to Shrek for good luck. Okay, so it's the Brandon same Shrek game, Shrek. different round. Uh, I got another supply point, and I kind of just threw it on okay. for uh, a smoke sure. grenade. I don't, I don't generally use smoke grenades. They're they're pretty much just for show. I don't have any other use for a supply Sorry. point, so I just decided uh, why not just put it on something I'm never gonna use. It'll be as if nothing has changed. 
I'm not gonna lie, I have had a few friendly fires in this game. Still getting used to not seeing my teammates' okay. names above their heads instantaneously. So occasionally I'll put a I'll put a few bullets into them. Um, surprisingly, I've only killed one teammate throughout all of my time playing this game. All right, so he's around the grenade, the, the corner. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to use. Uh, obviously, a smoke grenade is what I meant to throw. Let's try that again with the correct grenade, the one that is lethal. And there we go. There's the explosion. I don't know if I killed him, but. Uh, Clearly, no one could have survived an explosion like that, so I'm just gonna assume that he died. Um, there's also no kill-death ratio uh, while you are alive in the, the scoreboards. Um, so I feel like our team is supposed to be over there. Oh, no, no worries. I, I'm no longer alive to actually be over there. Let's let's go a different way this time. I've gone through that house every other life and uh, it hasn't worked out too well, so let's try over here. Alpha has been secured. Good job. All right, team. Good Thanks. job, uh, and you're welcome for capturing A. I probably should be following my teammates. Oh, there we go. I uh, accidentally got some friendly fire action there, but no worries. He's still alive. So this guy shooting at me must have an LMG of some sort. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna take the risk. Uh, I don't know where he is, but uh, I'm pretty confident. Ah, ran out of ammo. You take the kill for me, teammate. I trust in you. Um, I'll just I'll try a flank maneuver. Oh, I'm not allowed to shoot. Okay. Only only three bullets for me allowed. Alright, going in, team. Ah, almost got one. Do I have the right armor on? I do. Huh. Maybe, I don't think it's working correctly. There you go, shoot that car. So that was my first game uh, after a couple days of taking a break, so uh, that that was obviously the reason why I wasn't doing too well, but uh, this game I will, I will improve. But like I said, the usual setup, cheapest weapon, in this case it's a, a free weapon. I don't know why the foregrip is uh, different prices for different guns, but apparently it is. Armor, heavy armor. Uh, secondary, just remove it. Grenade, um, uh, let's see. Let's do, uh, AP ammo. I don't really think this is, uh, effective at all because I don't know what targets are armored. Um, but I'll just go with it. I'll let my teammate go first. Playing it safe. Crossing the river. Not even looking both ways. I see you over there. Is he dead? He might be. Oh, that's a teammate. Don't want to ruin our chances of getting D back. Alright, so we currently only have E at this moment. Uh, okay, we currently do not have any objectives at all. So let's... I'm going to go with my team to take... D. Um, I think D is a very important objective in this situation. Mostly because I am near it and I don't want to run anywhere else. Just aimed a little too high, didn't even see him, disappeared behind my gun. Now I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really know what the point of playing in games are because uh, there is no, there's no progression, there's no level system, you don't unlock stuff for guns, um, you don't unlock, you don't even unlock new clothing for your character. Um, 
Magically, though, two of my friends in my friends list have points of some sort. I don't know if it's experience, um, I don't know if it's some kind of currency I've never been informed of, but they have points, and, uh, I, I don't have points, and I have played many more hours longer than they have, um, but no need to complain because I don't think they're actually getting any kind of benefit from that, so I think I'm going to follow my teammate this life and see where it takes me. Could be a good idea, could be a bad idea, but uh, from the looks of what just happened to my teammate, I don't think it was a good idea. Oh, there you go. My first kill that I know I got of the game. I, I think I have actually gotten two other kills, but I don't... I don't remember them, um, but that kill was definitely was definitely my kill, so I can claim one. But it's okay if I have to sacrifice the life of a teammate just to get one kill for no real benefit for me. Um, I'm I think I'm okay with that. I don't know if any of you guys have played uh, Warface, but the sliding mechanism or mechanic in that game is uh, absolutely incredible. I think this game uh, should really should really implement the slide system the way they did in that game. Uh, I don't I don't think you slide enough in this. You get you get maybe two feet of a slide distance. Um, I like to feel like I'm sliding on ice. It makes me feel uh, like I have more of a tactical advantage. Um, also, I don't think this game allows you to shoot while you are sliding, so... Clearly, the slide feature in this game needs to be improved. Oh. Someone's trying to set me on fire with flares. Uh... I don't know if flares do act- oh, flares do hurt you, um, I'll make a note to myself and, uh, some pro tactics for you, don't walk into flares, um, even though IRL flares probably are not lethal, especially that lethal, but this is not IRL, so remember that. So I was looking at the score while I was dead, and I think I found out why, uh, why our team is losing. Um, the enemy team has a very big tactical advantage. If you look at their ping, uh, at least half of them, their ping is over 100. And look, this guy over here, 213, he's practically invincible. Alright, so I'm back at the main menu. I've left the server, and I think I'm done playing the game for a while. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I will see you later. Bye.